Hey, what's going on YouTube? If you're new to the channel, my name is D and you watching New Touch Auto. Listen, for all my viewers out there who've ever doubted or been curious about plastic dip, liquid wraps, or vinyl wraps, you wanna know if they really stick once you go through a car wash? <laughs> Stay tuned because we're gonna find out. Welcome back. Now in this video, we got a vehicle that's been wrapped for probably right at a year or a little over a year. And this vehicle has it all. A lot of people out there really wonder, does this stuff really stay on once you go through a car wash? So what I got today, we're gonna do the hand wash, pressure wash, and we're gonna do drive-through car wash. This is all to make you a believer when it comes down to this removable paint. So what I have, you see that car back there? That color is Persian blue. Persian blue. If you're interested in that color, check out this video up top. It'll take you through the process, show you how to wrap your vehicle. Now here, we have a Hyundai Sonata that has the ultimate wrap. On the tail lights, we got the tail light tints from Vivid. On the body, we got the Pro-Line paint from Dip Your Car. And on the top, we got the 2080 gloss black vinyl wrap. We even got it on the side mirror. So we got all this on there. And what we're gonna do, go ahead and start off with this hand washing. Now for those out there who may be hand washing their vehicle, you got two options. You can use soap and water, or you can use the dip wash from dipyourcar.com. Now this dip wash is compatible, but like I said, you can use either or. When it comes down to washing the vehicle, I like to use a sponge. Sponge is pretty much the easiest thing you can use with this type of paint because it doesn't create a peel. It's not rough. When it comes down to the drying, I like to use a shimmy rag. This shimmy rag can go the entire process of washing your vehicle. You can wash it or you can dry it with this rag. But when you dry it, wring it out. Let that water seep out and continue to dry and finish off your vehicle. Let's go ahead and get started. Now that you witness that the hand washing doesn't affect anything, we're gonna proceed to the pressure washing. Now you got two options when you pressure wash. You can wash it with your hands, then you can apply the pressure washing or you can wash it with the pressure washer and apply your soap inside this hit. You can put your dip washer in here or soap and water and you can proceed by attaching it to your pressure washer. It'll only glide that soap onto that vehicle without taking it in out the bucket. So let's go ahead and see what this pressure washer does. Those who will be using the pressure washer, keep this in mind. If you don't know what you're doing with a pressure washer, don't get too close to that vehicle with this pressure washer because it's a lot of pressure coming out of here. Remember, this is a removable product. So if you get too close to the edge, it's gonna only do one thing, erupt the paint. Keep that in mind. Looks like we up to, and y'all doubt us, 
Y'all ain't looking too good right now. But we got one more test. That's the drive through car wash. Y'all been waiting on this one moment right here to do this full drive through car wash. Now y'all dollars out there, I don't know what to tell you, but y'all 0 for 3 right now. We did the hand wash, pressure wash, and we just completed the full drive through car wash. And that Persian blue, still sitting pretty. Tail light tent still there. Bonner wrap still there. Proline still there. If you're out there and you're interested in more of these type videos and you want to see more, I got them. Those of you who are new to the channel, please feel free to do so and subscribe. Thank y'all for checking out this video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Uh.